Today we'll talk about how to attract prospects to your MLM business. And this is something that I did for many years, was a number one income earner of a network marketing company and generated hundreds of thousands of leads. So let me share with you some of my secrets. So first I'm going to talk about the two main methods of generating prospects. Then I'm going to talk about marketing secrets to attract people to you, regardless of what platform you're on. And lastly, I'm going to share my very favorite marketing strategy that's working like crazy right now. All right. So what are the two main methods of generating prospects? Very simple marketing and prospecting. Marketing is passive. You're doing something you hope an unnamed individual reacts or responds to. So that could be a, Facebook Live, it could be a post, it could be an Instagram, it could be a billboard, it could be a flyer, it could be something you're hoping someone reacts to. It's important for you to understand the difference between the two because they are different. Prospecting is very active. You can't control how many people react to your marketing post. You just can't. You can control how many people you reach out to. That you can control. So I consider that active. So prospecting is you reaching out to an individual, whether it's you know, telephone, face-to-face, -face, text message, direct message, you're reaching out to an individual to initiate a conversation, right? And, and that those are the, the two main methods. So in talking about marketing, what are secrets that will work on any platform? And, th and this is absolutely true. I've done it from everywhere from MySpace, don't judge me, um, to all of them, right? Uh, except Snapchat, I never got into that one. I've used these secrets on uh, TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on, again, MySpace, right? Uh, and so uh, they work. You want to become someone of value. Now, maybe you've heard that word, and I personally think that word is bantied around too often and too few people understand it, so I'm gonna define it for you. What is value? Value is something that I consume that adds to my life whether I purchase or not. So if you do a video about the ingredients in your product, then I don't know that that really adds value to my life. If you did a video to tell me what ingredients to avoid, that would be value to me. Oh, I need to look for those ingredients and I need to avoid those things. If you do a video that talks all about the benefits of your product, that, that to me isn't value. Yes, it's a video, which is good, you're doing videos, but where's the value? The only value I gain is if I purchase the thing. So notice the difference. There's a quote by a gentleman named Jason Fried that says, out teach your competition. There's another quote that I really love from Steve Martin that says, be so good they can't ignore you. So what does that look like on social media to generate prospects? That's you providing more education. That's you learning things and sharing them. And the easiest concept around this is a concept I created over a decade ago called ILT, invest, learn, teach. So you invest your time, possibly money, to learn something, then you teach from that. Now it's not plagiarism, you're actually edifying the source, right? So you're saying, hey, I just read this great book, here are three takeaways from this book that really helped my life that may help yours. That's a perfect example of ILT. Or maybe you watch a documentary and you, you get a, a few takeaways from that documentary. Hey, I watched this documentary, there were four things that I took from this documentary, really cool, might help you out. That is a perfect example of invest, you invested your time to watch the documentary, you learn something, now you're teaching it. You do not have to be the expert to do a video on a particular topic. What you do need to do is gain some knowledge. You start doing that and you can apply it in every way possible. You can have it on short little TikToks, you can have it on uh, Facebook Lives, you can have it on YouTube, and that's a way for you to start generating more prospects to you. All right, before I share with you my very favorite marketing strategy that's working like crazy right now, I wanna hear from you. And comment before you hear it, don't just copy off me. So what's your favorite platform right now? Where are you seeing the most traction or what is it that's just vibing with you that, that you really like? Drop me a comment, is it Instagram, is it TikTok, is it Facebook? What is really vibing with you? What do you really like? Drop in the comments. All right, so what is my favorite marketing strategy right now? Well, it isn't actually a platform necessarily, although the reason for it was originated by TikTok. The strategy is short videos. And what I mean by short videos is videos less than 20 seconds. That's a pretty short video, right? Here's how I stumbled upon this. I was an anti-TikToker. 
didn't want to do it. I'm like, uh, young kids dancing, lip syncing, no thanks. It just didn't want to do it until I heard from a mastermind client of ours. Um, he was in our mastermind and that's John Melton. Give him a shout out. And so John came to me and he's like, dude, you need to learn TikTok. And I'm like, okay, why do I need to learn TikTok? And he said, I have people in my team that have struggled for years on Facebook, are not influencers that went over to TikTok and they're making thousands of dollars a month now. They've never made thousands of dollars a month. So that is like um, catnip for me. Like if I hear of an average ordinary person creating extraordinary results, I, in network marketing, I have to learn it. Like that is not, I'm, 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 I'm a slave to that. So now if he had told me, hey, some of my influencer buddies went to TikTok and they're killing it, I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, that, that makes sense, right? Because an influencer can typically become influential on, on all the different platforms. But he told me he had people struggling, never made much money, they were over there, now they're making money. I'm like, okay, I gotta figure this out. So I go over, I start my TikTok account and it was uh, right around Christmas. And, uh, and so I start this TikTok account and I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I do. I'm uh, giving tips, I'm giving suggestions. And one guy comments, in fact, I, I still remember him, Lenny Phoenix. So Lenny Phoenix comments and he says, you're giving out advice, but you don't even get that many views. No hate, Merry Christmas. I think that was his comment. And I'm not used to those comments because I've built large followings and all the other you know, platforms but I loved it. I'm like, oh, this is great. And so I do a video response to him, not a clap back, not a, you know, not one of those, but I said, Hey, you know what? You're right. I'm new over here. I don't have that many followers. I just started over here, but let's examine that. Why is it that someone has to be a guru to get advice from, right? Can't someone that lost 10 pounds, but isn't in perfect shape, still teach some people how to lose 10 pounds, right? Like, like why does it have to be an expert for you know someone to, to listen to someone's advice? And so I posted, that was the gist of it. And uh, you know, no clap back, nothing you know, mean or whatever. And so I posted and I'm chasing my kids around, right? And it was a Saturday, which usually Saturdays I don't get a, a, as many views as other days. And so I come back to it and I look, it has 20,000 views. And I'm like, I'm like, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe that's, maybe. and so I, I, sh I close the app. I open it back up. It has 22,000 views. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I had less than 300 followers. Now, if you think about that, let me give you the scenario. So on Facebook, we have, uh, I think around 300,000 followers on our Facebook page. We spend 50 to $100,000 a month in ads. Three times in 10 years. Have I had a video get over 50,000 views without ads? This video on TikTok on a platform with less than 300 followers ended up getting over 50,000 views. Why? It's the algorithm. So the algorithm of Facebook, the one that most of us are used to, is it'll show whatever you post, whether it's a video or whatever, it'll show to a little bit of people. And if it does well with those little bit of people that know you, that follow you, that have commented on your stuff already, then it'll show to a little bit more. It'll never show to 100%, but depending on how well it does with a small subset, it'll show to a few people. TikTok takes your content and says, hey, who might like this? Whether they know you or not. That's why the TikTok, that change and that, that new algorithm created the biggest opportunity for marketers that has ever existed. And I'm, I'm very bold in saying that because never before, especially without ads, never before without ads, have you had the ability to get in front of people that don't know you at such a scale. So we have clients that have videos with over a million views. Now, then Instagram owned by Facebook says, wait a minute, there's a lot of people over there on TikTok. We don't like that because we don't own it. So they, they launched Instagram Reels and they started incorporating a little bit of what TikTok does. But then now they're launching Facebook Reels, which is open in the US and they're really adopting a lot of the algorithm you know, thought process from uh, TikTok. So on my Facebook Reels, I have two videos that have over a million views each. Now that spells huge opportunity for you because those were without ads too. It means that the short video is the dominant player and getting your stuff in front of more people that don't know you. So whether you have a strong warm market or not, whether you have a lot of supportive friends or not, doesn't matter anymore. 
you just doing that short video process is going to get you in front of people that otherwise you wouldn't have gotten in front of. Now, if you want to dive deep on this, I have a free training for you, and this is the three-step launch to crush it on short videos. I show you a lot of examples. I show you a lot of different things that we've tested and proven. And so if you would like, register for that training. It's a live training. The link is down in the description. But if you really want to crush it, register for that because this is the hottest marketing strategy that's going right now.